Okay, found the girls. Okay, I found the chickens. They're over here on the driveway. Today, I just want to come out, make a video, and why I've decided to restrict my hens diet a little bit, and um, the way I'm gonna do it. So as you can see here, snow's melting. You can maybe hear the gutters, the gutters dripping. Snow's melting. It's pretty warm outside today. Um, for Wisconsin, I'll say that it's pretty warm outside today. Um, if you live in the northern states, if you live in the southern states, you'd probably be shivering. But it's pretty warm outside today. The chickens are eating grass. That's right, they're eating grass. And what, what, they're eating grass. They're eating green grass. There's, there's some green, there's some green plant growth, you guys. This grass is starting to grow because as soon as it's exposed to sunlight, it's gonna start to grow. So they're getting green grass in their diet. So they're not gonna be as hungry. They're not gonna be eating as much feed. They still need about the same amount of feed. But um, they're not going to be needing as much feed, especially now that we have grass starting to grow. So the reason I'm going to restrict their diet is because laying hens, um, laying hens, they tend to get um, cancer. A high percentage of laying hens, five to thirty-five percent, actually will get cancer due to how many legs or how many eggs they lay. Typically, it develops at about two years of age or older than that. And I don't want my chickens to get cancer, so um, we're gonna be restricting their feed a little bit. That can that can actually help um, if you restrict their feed. Try to not feed them as much soil. Um, even feeding them flaxseed, I believe, can help um, with that. But um, just the fact that they're able to get out, there's patches in our yard that are starting to melt, and they're able to begin finding grass. Um, we can start to begin to restricting their diet a little bit. They need about a fourth of a cup of feed a day. I am gonna let them have a little bit more than that, but um, I will be measuring out their feed, feeding them on more of a daily basis, probably about twice a day. Hey, get out of the garage, get out of the garage. Get out of the garage. Get out of the garage, get out of the garage. Get out of the garage. Okay, but um, I will be beginning to restrict their feed a lot more um just so just for the benefit of the birds themselves um there's another patch of snow that's melting let me go around the yard maybe show you guys a few a couple other places maybe get the birds to follow me out back here the reason why they just don't need as much feed now we got we got grass that's starting to grow um they'll be able to start eating a lot of that they won't need as much or they won't eat as much feed hopefully so they won't be as hungry now when you keep your birds locked up especially on like the really cold or really snowy days i have been keeping them locked up i noticed just because out of boredom they're, they're inside like the whole day all all they really have to do inside is eat drink and poop and then scratching their straw so i noticed out of boredom they tend to eat more feed when they're locked up and they tend to eat more feed um just in general in the winter time because there's less grass in the summer i actually had them on a very restricted diet because they're eating lots of protein in the form of bugs okay birds did not follow me out here um but we do we do have something good on um, the spring laying is definitely kicking in whitey just started to lay eggs again um she actually has a problem she's laying eggs over there in the gazebo but I really want them to be laying eggs in the nesting box. But um, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's why I'm going to be restricting that feed. Maybe looking to find more of a local feed or at least trying to grow more of their own feed myself. So they don't, just don't have to be taking in as much of that soy filled diet that they currently are. And a little quick, quick reminder, if you guys like the t-shirt I'm wearing today, it's kind of backwards, guys, but um, if you guys like the t-shirt, oh, slid on some ice. If you guys like the t-shirt I'm wearing today, go check it out. Link down in the description below. Support the show. Pick up some Alice Homestead clothing. Okay, these birds wandered back around again. There they are. But 
I honestly don't like it when they're out front, you guys, because that's that's what happens. This is what happens when they're out front. They scratch all the mulch out. But as you can see here, right down here, they are eating this grass. This grass is getting eaten, and I can see now it's been exposed for a couple of days. This grass is starting to shoot up some new blades. Grass is long. We've had above freezing weather for a couple of days now. And with this kind of weather, this is just like prime weather for grass to grow. You guys, check out that gra grass. But um, it's like the prime weather for grass to start growing. So the grass is growing. The chickens are maybe a little more happy. Come here, Henrietta. Come here. And... Henrietta's been laying some eggs recently too. So shout out Henrietta here. Okay, so um the birds have been eating more grass as you can see. Oreo is right down there. But my point is I'm just gonna try to get the birds on more of a restricted diet, measuring out their feed and feeding it to them more on a daily basis like I was this summer because otherwise I've been noticing they eat a lot more feed when they just have free choice they can just go eat 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 they're like a bunch of hungry little hippos that's what I call them hungry hippos hungry hippos oh this is kind of mucky in here okay guys another big another big grass patch opened up right down there um the chickens kind of this is how the chickens get out front I think most days they wander around the side of our house here you guys look at that that drain pipe is dripping all the snow is melting um but it's February it's like I call like I say in Wisconsin this isn't spring this is fake spring then we get a second winter after this probably won't be spring till April who knows I think it'll be a little earlier this year but again it's Wisconsin there is no guarantee. So chickens are out enjoying the grass. Um, this is kind of the time of year where it'd be neat to have an electro net. I could control where they're eating a little bit easier. Um, basically that's how they get out here. They creep around, they go, they go under the bush, they get on the sidewalk, and then they're out here. There's Henrietta. And cackle but anyway i just wanted to put this little video out today guys why i'm restricting my hens diet um uh, i just would caution you guys about feeding your hens too much soy um because they can get cancer especially the chickens that are going to lay a lot of eggs so i would say these chickens lay lay a fair amount of eggs um probably around 250 eggs a year so there is a fairly good chance they could get cancer um the articles i've read also say if you feed your hens flaxseed um, that can be good for them. That can help. Give them 10% of their diet is flaxseed. But if you give, give them too much flaxseed, I've heard the eggs can actually taste fishy. So you don't want to be feeding them like a ton of flaxseed or anything. But I heard a little bit help. So if you already, so you all are already new to the channel, um, haven't already subscribed, be sure to go down, subscribe. We're looking to get to 200 subscribers here because when we get to 250, we are going to be doing a giveaway. So subscribe for that. Also, don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video. Comment down below. See you right back here tomorrow's video. Alice Homestead. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided I'm going to put out a video yet tomorrow. I think I think I will be doing a video tomorrow um, on editing, how I edit my videos. So stick around for that. Like I said, subscribe, like, comment below. See you right back here. Next one, Alice Homestead.